Well, Kristen Scovira is here now. And Kristen, Colorado had a record number of visitors last year, and more and more people are also moving to the Mile High City. Yeah, but these tourists and transplants, they'll tell you moving into thin air can leave them feeling downright ill. Well, today I spoke to doctors at the University of Colorado Hospital to learn more about living at altitude. The Rocky Mountains look majestic, but once you clear about 8,000 feet, altitude sickness can set in. A headache or nausea, fatigue, sleeplessness is a, is a big issue. And as more travelers seek out high altitude adventures, doctors say it's a good time to remind visitors they're not at sea level anymore. One in four who come to Colorado will usually get some form of altitude sickness. And the higher you go, the higher that percentage gets. If you fly into DIA and immediately climb Pikes Peak, then the incidence is probably higher. That's Dr. Benjamin Honigman, medical director at the University of Colorado Hospital's Altitude Clinic. He says acute altitude sickness can cause swelling of the brain or fluid in the lungs. Where if the fluid builds up in the lungs and we get what we call high altitude pulmonary edema. Older people get less uh, acute mountain sickness than younger people. It may have to do with the fact that as you get older, your brain shrinks a little bit. And young people tend to be more active, skiing, hiking, and cycling. But it's a combination of um, activity levels, as we talked about, um, and your own genetics. So when can visitors expect to feel normal? Immediate uh, adjustment occurs within 24 to 48 hours. But full acclimation, that could take up to three months. Because your red cells, which carry, which have hemoglobin and carry the oxygen, have to uh, adjust to the fact that there's lower oxygen um, uh, available to you, uh, in, even in Denver. So while some of us feel the altitude even at 5280, these severe symptoms are really felt once we get to the mountain towns. So being dehydrated, drinking alcohol, that can exacerbate some of these symptoms. So you might want to stay overnight here in Denver before you head up the hill. If you're feeling clumsiness, shortness of breath, especially while you're resting, you want to get to a lower elevation or seek medical help. Back to you guys. All right, Kristen.